So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about one of the college in Chennai that's popularly known as Triple IT DM. Its full form is Indian Institute of Information Technology in Design and Manufacturing. So yes, it is a niche college. We are going to cover about this college in this video. Just a small request. If you're coming for the first time in our channel, please subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you won't miss any videos from us. All right, let's start this video. Now, in the coming 10 minutes, you will be covering these aspects about this college. You will cover the highlights of this college. You will cover the courses which this college offers. Then you will cover the course-wise eligibility for the Indian and NRIs. Then you will cover the required entrance exam. That what are the required entrance exam that you need to clear to get into this college. You will cover that aspect. You will cover the required cutoff also. You will cover the reservation for the Indian and NRI students too. What are the application process in this college and is there any scholarship opportunities or not? So these are the aspects that you are going to cover in the next 10 minutes. Okay. So let's start this video. All right. Let's start with the about of triple ITDM. So the major highlights of this college is such that this college was established in the year 2007. So this is a very new college, not too old college, roughly 13 to 14 years old. Yes, this is a public college, of course. It is recognized by UGC and AICT. The campus is spread across 51.75 acres. So it's a, of course, a medium-sized college. The official website is www.tripleitdm.ac.in. You can visit the site for more updates about this college. And the popular courses in this college is BTEC, BTEC plus MTEC, which is an integrated course, then MTEC and PhD. The student strength is 1118 and the total number of faculties is 40. So you can calculate the faculty to students ratio in here. The major entrance exam which this college accept is GE, SAT, SAT for the NRIs, GATE and again there are UGC net in the case of PhD and the application mode is online. So this is just a major highlights about this college. You can visit the sites for more updates about this college. Let's move on and discuss about the major courses which this college offers. Okay, so these are the major and the only courses in here. The BTEC program. So if I talk about the BTEC program, the major specialization in the BTEC are computer science and engineering, electronics and communication engineering, mechanical engineering and smart engineering. Yeah, so these are the four specialization in BTEC, which is a four year course. If I talk about MTEC, so in the MTEC, it offers specializations in communication system design, electronic system design, mechanical system design, and smart manufacturing. So this is in the case of MTEC, which is a two-year course. There are other courses like BTEC plus MTEC, that is an integrated course, which is of five years. So the major specializations are computer science and engineering, BTEC in electronics and communication, and MTEC in VLSI design, okay? BTEC in electronics and communication and MTEC in communication system, BTEC in mechanical engineering and MTEC in advanced engine manufacturing, BTEC in mechanical engineering and MTEC in product design. So these are the major specialization in BTEC plus MTEC course in here. Okay. Now this is a five year course as I just told. If I talk about PhD, so PhD as written in here two years, but this is not two years. This may depend. This actually may depend. This is a subjective thing, right? That depends from students to students because many students are going for the research work that may be for the longer duration. Many students are just going for the degree hold, right? So that will be the shorter duration of time. So this is the rough data of two years uh, from the past two, three years. The major specialization in the PhD are computer science and engineering. Mechanical Engineering, Electronics Engineering, Mathematics and Physics. So these are the major specializations in PhD. Okay. Now let's discuss about the course wise eligibility. Now eligibility is a different thing. This is just the eligibility that you are eligible to apply in this college. Right. But before that, again, for the class two, if you talk about BTEC, it says that uh, you should be having uh, physics, chemistry and mathematics in the class 12 with minimum of 75 percent marks from the recognized university. Then you are eligible to, eligible to apply for J means because this college accepts J score. Right. So eligibility is this much that class 12 PCM 75 percent. OK. For the BTEC program, if I talk about in the case of MDES and MTEC. So the eligibility is BTEC degree in relevant discipline. Okay. For the MDES and for the MTEC, this is BE and BTEC from the recognized university. That should be AICTE or UGC recognized with a minimum of 60% marks. And of course, there are reservation uh, that may be 55 and 50% in the reserve category. If I talk about in PhD, then there are two divisions because it offers specialization in computer science, 
electrical and mechanical engineering. So for those, it requires master degree in engineering, okay, in engineering technology and relevant discipline or master degree by research in relevant disciplines with a very good academic records, right? Of course, that academic record is must in here. If I talk about in mathematics and physics, then this is master in science, just a master degree in science with a good academic record. That's it for the physics and mathematics. Okay, this is a just brief about the eligibility criteria course wise, but there is one more course which is BTEC plus MTEC. So in that, this is clearly class 12 with PCM and 75% marks. Okay, and that, that depends in category to category because in some categories it can be 55, in some category it can be 50%. So you can check the site. This was just about the brief of eligibility criteria, but this is about the major entrance exam that you need to clear and this is the mandatory thing that if you fail to clear uh, G mains or SAT in the case of NRI students, then you will not be given admission in this college. If I talk about MTech, then the entrance exam is GATE. If I talk about the PSD, the entrance exam is GATE and interview and UGC net also. So this is a mandatory thing. You have to clear with the cutoff and then you will be called for the counseling process. If you fail in here, you are not going for the further steps. Okay. Now let's discuss about the cutoff. So this is the cutoff of the bachelor program which is BTEC as there are four specialization as I just told which is COE, EDM, MDM and MSM. So let me just tell you about the starting and the ending rank. Talking about first OP category. Okay, so for the OP category, this is actually the open category. Starting rank was 6551 in COE and the ending was 13,827. So you can see the numbers falling somewhere around 65 and 13.5. This is can say that yes, 437, 7,000 students in between. If I talk about an EDM, this is 5531, the starting rank and 18079, the ending rank in open category. If I talk about an MDN, then this is 96, 90, 96, 74 in, was the starting rank and 23,189 was the ending rank. And in the MSM, this was 15,571, the starting rank and 27,298, the ending rank. And likewise, in the case of OBC, SC, ST and PWD category. Okay. One thing is noticing in here that, of course, they are, the college is recognized by the degree that it provides, right? And the specialization that it offers. So you can just check or you can Google this thing that which is the best course in here. Because from that perspective also, the cutoff thing varies, right? In many colleges, computer science is, you know, very demanding or even the placements of computer science are high. So, of course, the cutoff will be high. If you talk about any other parallel courses in which the demand is not that much, so the cutoff will be low. So, just Google this thing and check uh, which course is the best in this particular college. And that's why the cutoff thing, which is starting and ending rank is decided. Okay. Also, to be note that admission is purely based on AIR, that's all in your ranking. Uh, there is no state rank thing in here. So state rank is not considered for admission in all the triple ITs, even not particularly in this, but even in all the triple ITs. So this is a very good thing that they map the student to the national level. And after that point of time, they give admission. So that's a good thing. Also, the admission to the foreign nationals person of Indian origin, NRIs, is through DSA, that is, sorry, through DESA, that's direct admission of student abroad. So you can visit the site which is www.itdm.ac.in slash admission slash postgraduate.php for more updates about this college, for more updates about the cutoff and how the cutoff is changing as per the course. You can visit that thing, okay? Now, if I talk about the reservation, so of course, this is a government college. So reservation is, uh, this MHR decides the reservation policy. It says that 7.5% of the total seats is reserved for the SC category students. 15% of the total seats is reserved for the SC category students and 27% of the total seats is reserved for the OBC category students. 10% of the total seats is reserved for the EWS category students. So these are the categorization. In short, 59.5% uh, of the seats are reserved. This is for the reservation category students. The rest is somewhere or this is 31.5%. So 31.5% is for the general category students. Okay. Again, uh, the admission to the foreign nationals, PIOs or NRIs is done through DESA, okay? Now, what is the application process? So the application process is very clear. This is like all the other colleges do. You need to visit the site. The site is www.triplitdm.ac.in slash admissions slash undergraduate.php. So once you visit the site, you can 
check the courses in which courses you are eligible or in which courses you are wishing to apply if you are in btec go through the btec if you are uh, taking admission in mtech then go through the mtech see what are the documentation required upload the document pay the fee and then you are finally done with the application process okay so this is just a brief about application process now what are the major scholarship that this college offers so yes it offers top class education scholarship for the sc and st students okay but again there are a few conditions like 10 fresh slots have been allotted by the ministry of social justice and empowerment for the sc students and ministry of tribal affairs for the sc students and the top class education scholarship schemes okay Top class education scholarship is sanctioned to the SC and ST students admitted to BTEC program with parental income less than 4.5 lakh per annum. So those students whose parental income are 4.5 lakh per annum are eligible to apply for this scholarship and they will receive this scholarship. Again, there are benefits under this scheme like uh, lodging and boarding charges, uh, which were which is rupees 2200, 2220 roughly per month. This will be given or whichever or less again books and stationery at the rate rupees uh, 3000 per annum will be given so there are much compensation in here right they will, you will be reimbursed with your tuition fees with uh, extra fees in here that depends from course from this category to category and from the parental income point of view you can visit the site which is www.iitdm.ac.in slash admissions slash undergraduate.php for more updates about the scholarship all right there are few also like scholarship for disabled able students, differentially able students, then there are national scholarship portal, then there are the states in which this college is located. This is located in Chennai, so the state government definitely provides scholarship. And there are ample options, right? Because these are see normally NITs, IITs, and triple ITs. These colleges are of national repute, right? So you will find ample opportunities of scholarship in this types of college. And of course, in the form of fellowship, in the form of scholarship, in the form of reimbursement, right? That depends from colleges to colleges that it offers, right? So you can visit the site for more updates. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any doubts, any questions, any queries, you can ask in the comment section below. Again, this is a good college, a good option. If you are getting admission in this college, you should definitely try. But again, Google that thing also that which course is best in the market, right? Which courses best suitable or from the placements point of view that depends upon you that if you are going for the learning point of view or from the money making point of view right of course so you have to set that all parameters and check on which category and on which designing factor you desire and take particular course and bang for it all right so this is just a brief about this i hope you enjoyed again like this video and share this video to as many friends as you can who are looking for admission in this particular types of college thank you